guys didn't rack up a <coughs> quarterback takedowns for sacks, but it looked like you were moving Johnson off the spot early. I know you even got in on a hit. What can you just say about the waves of guys that were coming through and making his life difficult? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, coaches did a good job of putting guys in position to make those plays. And uh, when the time presented itself, you know, the guys made the plays. And, uh, you know, obviously it's preseason. You don't do a lot of necessarily game planning, but uh, guys found ways to, you know, affect the quarterback. You know, we preach that each and every day. And, um, you know, if you can make a team one-dimensional, obviously that gives you a better chance of, you know, being successful on defense. What's it meant for you guys to have Shaq back in the mix? Obviously he was out there flying around making plays today. But just having him back in the building and then on the sideline making plays like that. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, uh, Shaq brings energy every day. And uh, you have a guy like that that, you know, can spark the defense up and just, you know, with, just with his presence uh, obviously means a lot. And, you know, like you said, he made a lot of plays out there today. Um, it's just, you know, I'm happy to have him back. And I know a lot of guys that was here when he was here is happy to have him back as well. They moved the ball a bit on their opening drive. What uh, kind of adjustments, if any, did you guys make on the sideline after that? Uh, I was just stay calm. Uh, I mean, you know, in the course of a football game, things like that are going to happen. You know, you just got to make those adjustments as necessary. Um, talk on the sideline and talk on the field and just, you know, keep playing. You know, this is a game of football. You know, it's, it's going to be ups and downs. But, you know, you got to put your put your eyes down, put your head forward and keep working. And I think that's what we did. Coaches made the necessary adjustments and, you know, we uh, was able to be successful on D. As a defensive player, it's very rare, if, if ever, in training camp or even in a scrimmage situation where you're live tackling your, your teammates to the ground. So when you have that opportunity to go out there, even if it's only for a quarter, as a defensive player, is that quite valuable as you're getting ready for the season, knowing that you can be full go against an opponent? Yeah, it's definitely valuable because, like you said, man, training camp, you don't have a lot of live opportunities. Um, so, you know, missed tackles are going to happen. You know, it's, 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 it's good to get those mistakes out of the way now. So come game time, come regular season, you know you got the kinks out and, you know, you already kind of rehearsed that kind of stuff. So, you know, those th kind of things are going to happen in preseason, but you want to limit those mistakes. You want to limit, you know, how many times it does happen. But, um, like, you, I mean, it's just it's hard to practice live tackling in camp, you know, uh, just being that we don't go live a lot. But, you know, when the time is there, um, you want to put yourself in the best position and to make the play. How's the communication with the guys behind you? No Jordan, no Mike. I know Jaquan and Jamar have been here for a minute. But how is it? kind of getting that message out to the guys behind you and out on the edges, especially some of those young guys that were playing. Yeah, man, it's been good. You know, I'm excited just to see those guys be able to come in and, you know, get those extra reps. Um, you know, you got Jaquan back there, uh, DeMar Hamlin, you know, guys that are playing at a high level. And, uh, you know, just for them to come in and, you know, just communicate and, uh, you know, see things, you know, just with the ones playing with different people, man, it, it, it means a lot, you know, for the defense and, you know, for them in general. Um, you know, they play away from, you know, being the guy. As we can see, you know, injuries happening in this game. So, you know, being that they're able to get all these looks, you know, it's good for our defense, good for our team. He was able to go out there in the first play to, you know, set the tone, if you will. How important is it for you to do that every single week to go out there and set the tone on defense first play? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's, it's really important. You know, I, I strive on that each and every time I step on the field, you know, to go out there and, you know, be the spark for the guys. Um, so, you know, anytime I got an opportunity to do that, I'm definitely going to do it. Why is it helpful to kind of not necessarily go into the game blind, but not with a lot of game planning and, and go in and have to read and react um, versus doing a lot of game planning like you guys usually do in season? Um, I think in a sense, it kind of takes stress away from the guys. Uh, you know, just in general, just going out there, playing, trusting yourself, uh, trusting what you've been doing at practice. And uh, I mean, just going out there and playing free. You know, I think that's the key thing that a lot of us talk about, you know, playing, playing the game. Uh, that's fifty percent of it, if not more. You know, you just got to play free, play ball, and you know, um, just key in on your fundamentals, and that'll put you in position to make plays. How much is this D line now is allowing you to be more free? Yeah, I mean, I mean, those guys working up front. You know, <laughs> I take my hat off to them, man, because every day at practice, I mean, there's only one thing on their mind, and that's getting better. And um, you know, I've been saying it every day. You know, those guys bring energy. Those guys bring juice. And um, those guys are making each other better. And um, it's making our team better, man. And, you know, everybody's playing fast. Everybody's playing confident. And, you know, those guys making plays. You know, it's not just, you know, making the team better, but, you know, it's making that, that room better. You know, everybody is, you know, it's, it's competitive. So one person make a play, the other person going to want to make a play. And that's what you want to have, you know, from a successful team, from a, from a good team. You know, guys making each other better. Um, guys that you can count on, man, that, that 
you know, when I go out here and practice, he's going to go 100% because I got to make sure I match his intensity. And, you know, that's what a lot of guys in that room brings. And, you know, it's good to see.